don't delete my formulas. Are people deleting your formulas and you don't want them to? Something like this where we get a nice little waterfall of formulas and people are deleting them and we're like, please don't delete them. And maybe you put a little message here. You say, don't, don't delete. Please don't delete. You maybe bold it and maybe you put it in red and you're like, please don't delete. Maybe you've also figured out that you can protect your sheet. People will get around this as well. You can even protect a range. You can just say the whole B column, nobody but me can edit this and I will not allow anyone to edit this. Or you can even just show a warning before they try to edit it, but you're like, hey, I don't want anyone to edit it. So you protect your sheet and still to this day, people come in here, they delete the protection and then they delete your formulas and you're like, no, why are you doing that? Here's another little trick you can do if people don't want to not delete it. If they're like, hey, I actually don't want formulas here. I want, maybe they're cutting and pasting or something and you don't want them to. We can hide this a little bit more. So instead of doing just here, A2 plus seven, we're going to do a array formula equals array formula. I'm gonna change A2 to A2 colon A to get the entire array. Then we're going to add seven, just like before. And here we have a nice column. Oh wait, we have all these sevens. How do we fix that? At the beginning of this, we can put an if, and then inside the if is blank, and then put the A here. And we can, that doesn't really fix it. Ah, so the situation is we need to put this if is blank inside of the array formula. So if is blank A2 colon A, and now everything is wait it's a number oh we need to format this as well so we go up to format custom date and time and here we can choose anything we want apply and now we have everything nice and tidy even if somebody tries to if i'm deleting this like i'm hitting the delete key i'm cutting and pasting oh that cut didn't work so but copy paste i'm trying to mess this up and i'm not but if somebody wants to mess up this array formula and it's in b2 as well i can actually get rid of that as well let's cut this and up here in next week don't delete i'm gonna delete that don't delete but i'm gonna make a formula i'm gonna put in curly brackets in text next week and then i'm gonna use a semicolon and i'm gonna use the array formula that we cut from before we only want to include a2 here we don't want a1 we don't want to change it to a1 because what's going to happen is this next week is going to be the first item in our vertical array and then the second item will be this ray formula and there we go we are now hiding our formula inside of b but let's say people are continuously harassing us and coming in and deleting this and then going off their merry way i'm gonna copy this formula that i've written right here here. And I want to programmatically or automatically enter this into B1 every single day. So I'm going to go up to extensions app script. This is not as hard as you think. We're just going to need a little bit of code, but I'll type it out here for you in this video. So we're going to write a function called replace my formula. And inside of this function, we're going to do basically one thing. We're just going to write the formula here in B1. So we need to know what where B1 is. It's in the spreadsheet app, which is our entire spreadsheet file. We're going to get the active spreadsheet, which is the spreadsheet file we're in right now. We're going to get sheet by name, which in our case is sheet one. Sheet one can actually also put this on the next rows. We're going to get range and our range is B1. And then we have actually two options. We can set value or set formula. I'm gonna set formula. And in our formula is going to be, actually we need one bracket, one quote. That's our formula because we use double quotes here. We need to use a single quote to around it. So actually we can fix that in B1 as well. Just use single quotes here and single quotes there. Okay, so now if I delete this, I'm gonna copy it, but I'm gonna delete it has nothing here. I'm gonna check out, can I run this? Yes, I can go click here, replace my formula, click run, may ask me for authorization, and now it's there. Again, I will delete this and just check, does this work? So we're gonna get this execution log, but I'm gonna run it again just to make sure it works. Yes, it is continuously coming back. But now the second thing I wanna do here is instead of just doing it once, I want to actually do it every day or every hour. I wanna just keep putting this in just in case somebody deletes it. I want my formula to be there even if somebody comes and deletes my formula. So over on the left side, we're gonna click triggers. It's the 
icon with a little clock. Bottom right, we're going to click Add Trigger. Choose which function. We're going to choose the function we have just written, which is Replace My Formula. And instead of a spreadsheet as the event source, we're going to choose Time Driven. Time Driven has a lot of options here. We are going to actually use, let's say, minutes. And we can do it every minute, every five minutes, every 10 minutes, every let's say every 30 minutes. So our formula doesn't leave our sheet unless you delete it. And then within 30 minutes, it's going to come back right away. And we hit Save. And now we have a trigger that's time-based. It's going to happen every 30 minutes. It's just going to write right here in B1 this formula, which is really cool. If for any reason there's an error, it'll show you an error rate. You can always go over to executions and see any executions that may have failed. One thing I would show you also is go back to triggers and on the right side, when you hover over a trigger, on the there's three dots, you can delete a trigger this way. So if you have for any reason whatsoever, you need to actually delete the formula, delete the app script that adds a formula, there, you can delete it right away. And if you're a Better Sheets member and you're watching this on Better Sheets, you can get this formula and this sheet down below. If you're not a Better Sheets member yet, come on today.